Hello, and welcome to another episode of I'm Forever Blowing Bubbles, a football manager story. My name's Dave, and you join me as I take my West Ham side and uh, my, my strikerless formation West Ham side and try and dominate the Premier League, or at least win a trophy or two. Um, you, as you join me, we've reached the um, the halfway point. I suppose technically we've reached the new year. Uh, we we've had a good start to the season. I keep having to ground myself and remind myself that I am West Ham, and historically we've been fighting relegation year in year out. As it happens, we've come to the new year and lost twice. Uh, we're sitting third with a game in hand. Admittedly, that game in hand is against Man City, but. Hey, you never know. You never know. So let's have a look how we're doing. We are sitting here now. As I said, we've uh, we, we last time we did, we beat Liverpool at at uh, at, at home two 0 We we absolutely stole that one. Um, it was um, they were all over us. Uh, we defended well and hit them twice on the break, if I remember rightly. Um, and moving on, then we we we've played two. We finished. We closed out the year away to Wolves and, and had a, a wonderful 2-0 result there. So we'll just have a quick look at the extended highlights of this one. Starting off well. Um, is it going, if you remember rightly, uh, this was everything happening in the first half. Wolves had a bright early start uh, and sent a header just over the top. On the tenth minute, though, uh, we, we we breaking forward. Baba Rahman starting the move. For now, spraying out to Federicks. The ball comes all the way over to Rahman who finishes it off, cross the keeper into the far corner, and it's a great finish for his first ever West Ham goal, and uh, it's a good start again. Once again, out the blocks quickly. Uh, on the fifteen minutes. Was attacking again down down our right there left but Fabianski with good hands. Then on the twenty, Rahman involved again, pulling it over. Jared Bowen nodded in from six yards out. It was a, it was a good start to the game there. Corner well defended, and then he had a chance to break. Emiliano Buendia took it down there, but it was well, uh, well took, held up by Vasquez. And then in injury time, Wolves just taking it straight out for a goal kick. And that was all she wrote. So that was the that was the Wolves game. It was um, it was as good a performance as we as we used to. Dominated performance. We dominated the XG. We didn't create a lot, but we 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 did what we needed to. Got the game one early, and then moved on, which then took us to the new year. We're riding on a high. We've uh, we, we've lost two all season. One to Chelsea, um, and one to Villa. Uh, we and welcome Brighton, who at the time were in the bottom three, and and they FM'd us good and proper. Um, we had not 12 shots, admittedly only three on target, uh, and they had a penalty in the 52nd minute. It, it's uh, it was a kick in the teeth. We, we, we've been all over them. We just couldn't finish a dinner on that occasion. Uh, the front three, as we look there, uh, all of them were uh, were quite poor. Um, Rahman got injured on 15 minutes, but that shouldn't have made too much of a difference, really, especially going forward. It didn't make a difference at all. But then we move on. We had the FA Cup third round. Uh, it was a nil-nil draw against Fulham, but we're on penalties. I'm not going to go into the penalties. We don't show nil-nil. Um, and then our second game, Premier League game of the new year, took us to Newcastle. I went to Newcastle again. We were in the bottom of three. They were struggling. Um, and they, they, <laughs> they turned us over. And it was a thoroughly deserved performance from them. We, they, they, they created more. They're more on target. They had a far higher XG. Uh, we had more possession, but did nothing with it. It didn't help that Declan Rice was sent off on the 25 minutes. 
but we were already 1-0 down. So that was uh, disappointing. But coming back from that, then we we welcomed uh, Sheffield United. Uh, or we went to Sheffield United, should I say. And that was where we got ourselves back on track. And we'll just have a look at these goals. Okay, so Rahman was back in the squad by this point, but that was the only change, really. Um, but Newcastle started like a house on fire. Oh, sorry, Sheffield United started on a house on fire. Um, after 10 minutes, they were 2 0 up. And I was fearing the worst. Come 38 minutes, though, Rahman managed to pull another one back. His second game in second goal in four games. And then the second half, rocket at half time, pumped them back up. That pulled us, uh, pulled us level just after half time. And then with, with five to play, Jared Bowen pulled across for Buendia to get the second. And from 2 0 down, Pulled it back to uh, to three two, and that was uh, that gets us back on track. Um, it was a very even game. They created sixteen, we created seventeen. Uh, we had a higher xG, but uh, that uh, didn't really uh, mean too much. I was I was disappointed with with the performance, especially the 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 losing two goals in the first ten minutes was was not the start I really wanted. Which took us to the FA Cup fifth round. The FA Cup fifth round was we were at home to QPR, lower league side, and uh, by which time we welcomed in a new sign in with uh, Thero Kera, Thero Kera from uh, PSG coming on loan. Uh, we'd lost uh, Balbuena, wanted to move to China after they came in from a bid, so he went, and uh, we, 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 I think in, we. Got an improvement in his replacement. Um, he's definitely younger. Uh, he's definitely quicker. So that high line will be uh, will be working well with this. So he's came in. He came in for his debut with it there, and it was a good a good game. We'll uh, show these show the goals. That's better Bowen with the first penalty. Then on 38 minutes, Pablo Fornells feeding Brendia across the keeper in off the post. That was 2 0 after 38 minutes. And just before half time, Jarrah Bowen ball over the top from Ogbonna. Little dink over the keeper to make it 3 0 at half time. So in the second half, QPR came out. So they must have had a rocket because they came out and then early doors get the one back. But after that, it was uh, it was all West Ham again. Jared Bowen again gets his second on 53 minutes. And so another little interplay here. Brendier breaking through and gets his. So that uh, so finishes up 5-1, as we say. And so it was a Bowen hat-trick. Sorry, I forgot about that penalty early doors. Bowen hat-trick and two for Brendia. Takes us through to the next round. So it, it was. It's 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 been an interesting start. Okay, which brings us round to our uh, almost up to date. We've played one game more, which is in the Premier League. Back in the Premier League, and it was the return fixture against Leicester City, where uh, yeah, it was another another hard fought win. We were under the cosh a lot. They. Uh, they dominated the game. They created more. Um, they had more possession, but we managed to grind it out again. It was another. It was another fast start. To San Emeterio Fede gets his first goal for West Ham. Uh, there we go. So yeah, it was a nice early start. Fede from 25 yards out, absolute belter in off the post, um, and then on the half hour. Pablo Fornals is fed through and beats Schmeichel at his near post. After that, it was all Leicester. Um, Mario Mandzukic rolling back the years. On 
Bonner restores the two goal lead there. But again, five minutes to play. Drop it through. Mandzukic again peeled off his marker. Another headed goal. Disappointed, but we win when we're not playing well. It's the sign of a side that's uh, not doing too bad. But uh, I'm, I'm concerned. I think we may have been found out a little bit. Our the thin, how thin our squad is is, is starting to pay here now. Um, we've, made, we've made some moves, but most of them are end of trans, end of contract transfers for next season. Uh, we, we're running a little thin on the ground, money wise now. Um, but we're West Ham. We're we're, we're not we're, we're not Arsenal. We're not Man City. We're not we're not Man U. We're not Liverpool. We're not supposed to be up where we are. We're sitting third uh, with a game in hand, as I say, against Man City. Uh, one of those games is is coming up next. The scouting we've made, the moves we've made in the transfer market, are are I'm I'm impressed with. We've got Daniele Rugani. Um, coming in on a free transfer from uh, from Juve when he ends in, this is a guy that I've I've, I've always liked. Um, his his defensive capabilities are, are beyond question. Really, you don't get to play for Juve if you're not but if you're not a good player. So he's coming in on a free, um, and then we've got uh, Shoya Nakajima coming in on loan just to bolster the uh, the, the front line. Give us a little bit more options going there because the only one we've really got in reserve is um, Ben Rahama, who is still adapting to that sh um, shadow striker role. Um, Lanzini's broke his legs; he's out for still for another couple of months yet. So um, yeah, that's where we've gone there. We've also got another guy coming in at the end of the year. Um, for next season, Valerio Verre, um, he'll just be a squad player. And also, as if it's a new player, we've got um, Felipe Anderson coming back from Porto. He's on loan there. So hopefully, hopefully, Touchwood will be all right. We are thin on the ground at the back, but uh, Kerla should hopefully do uh, do okay there. We've got Dawson and we've got Winston Reed to come back if we need to. Which brings us bang up to date. Um, and we have got Man City. We're away at Man City. This is going to be uh, another big, big test. So let's see how we do. So let's see how we can get on here. We've got Man City away. Uh, fitness test wise, Cresswell's uh, fit but not sharp. Ben Rahama's fit but not sharp. I have dropped my line of defensive line. I'm going to move that back up to a standard and there um, the tighter marking that we keep losing. We keep losing and we're going for the tighter marking, but we're just losing where they are. So just take that off and uh, hopefully uh, we'll, we'll keep that as it is. No one new is injured. So we're going to go and go. We've got the strongest side we possibly can. Fede doesn't deserve to be dropped. He's done okay. Uh, Rahman, again, is being all right. Uh, we're going to take the edge off of this and go for balanced. We're away at Man City after all. Let's be a little bit realistic. Tactical meeting, uh, we're not going cautious. We'll, we'll drop it to balance. I'm happy with that. We're not making those changes. Um, yes, I'm going to do the opposition instructions though. We're happy with the team, and here we go. And here we are at the Etihad. We've uh, we've had our team talk. We've told the players that we are massive underdogs and they go and cause an upset. Um, we've both won three in a row, our last three. This, uh, I've got no idea how this could go, let's be honest. I've, I've we've played all the others around us and it's only Chelsea that have beat us. So we could go top. Let's see how we get on. 
<sighs> Man City start. Good tackle for Baba, and that should be the end. No, okay, it's not the end of it. I always get nervous at the start like this. Good tackle, and away we go. Okay. Oof. Three minutes in, in booking into the wall. That's good. Wall's done its job. Well done. Oof. Oof. Missed the tackle. Missed the tackle. Why are we diving in? Hmm. Five minutes gone. Two bookings in the first ten minutes. That's not good. And a corner. Wow. What? He's given a penalty. Oh no! Not this early doors. I've never known it not give a penalty. Penalty. Okay, come on then, Fab. How are we doing? De Bruyne. Ah. I'm to the side. No chance. That's not a good start. That's not a good start. Fabianski went the right way. He had no chance with it, though, really. Didn't see too much in it, to be honest, on the uh, corner coming in. But we've got our own corner. Nothing comes of it. Not had a shot yet. They've only had two, though. One of those was a penalty. Might need to just up this a little bit. Give us a little bit more impetus. Let's encourage them. Okay, how about we don't give away a penalty this time? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, let's just knock that off a nudge. See if we can't get something out of this. At least ask questions in there, Marth. Kufau, <sighs> sorry, I've got a knock. Um, got We've got Fredericks on the bench. Kufal's got a knock. We'll see how that holds for a while. Let's press the head. We've still not had a chance. Not a single shot on target yet. Five minutes before the end and we've not had... A single solitary shot on target or off, which is disappointing. Let's get this rocket ready to blast up theirs. Because that's not good. That's not good. We're going to come out of the second half and we are going for it. Um, we're losing. If we're going to lose, let's go for it. I'd rather lose having had a go rather than everyone's motivated. Thrush the arms wasn't good enough. I'd rather go down swinging than meekly, not because he's not having a shot. So, this is going to go one of two ways. We're either going to get absolutely hammered in the second half. Or it's going to work out and it'll be a tactical masterclass. I can we pick that up? No, because we're too deep. Try and close them down quick enough. Good tackle for day. Oh, don't trip over yourself, though. Right? Oh, I need to get this ball back. Oh, that was too easy. Good block. Good tackle. 
It's so still then. Where can we get the ball? Oh, where's that? Where? Where was the? Oh, I know it didn't have. I know it didn't have tight marking, but where on earth did he come from? Did he peel off the back here down the bottom? Oh, just fed through and he caught under the ball. That was terrible, but terrible defending. Right. So a bit berating. Wasn't good enough. Ten minutes in, we're still not at a shot. Time to make a change. Time to make a change. Kufal, you're injured. Let's get Fredericks on there. Hopefully his pace can make a difference. Brindy has been appalling. Let's bring four hours into the middle and Ben Rahama on. And hopefully get at least make it look like we want it because we're just not at the races. Uh, look we're actually finally going to get a shot. Are we going to get a shot? Probably not. That won't count. That was blocked beforehand. Baba Rahman and away. Did that count as a shot? Yes, we've had a shot. Yeah, it took 60 minutes. An hour of play. Jesus. Okay, Fede's not had a good game. Let's bring him off and get someone with a bit of passion. Let's get Noble on here. He's... Uh, He'll bleed black and blue for us. Plant and blue even. Just just not at the races. We've been totally outclassed here. Um sixty four percent possession, Man City. Did we just not it's the ball's going the right way now. Can we can we make something out of this? Make it look kind of reasonable. <sighs> backwards, backwards, backwards. And lose the ball with a long ball. Why are we playing long ball? Oh, oh so frustrating. So frustrating. We're on shorter passes, and yet Ambon is blasting it out over the halfway line with one. Oh. Another bad day at the office. Oh. Chance. Chance. Oh. At least we seem to be a little bit... Uh, Another booking. Was that six? Five bookings. That's a fine for us. Oops. <sighs> yeah, we've just not been good enough here. The players haven't worked. Maybe sat off too much at the start of it because they've not really done much second half when we pushed at them. Maybe we should have. Oh my lord, it's from like nine players booked now. Chance of being a man sent off is pretty high. And that's all over. Yeah, put us out of our misery there. That's not how I really wanted the month to end. Oh dear. It was supposed to be Doom member at the end of the year, the month of Doom. Um, January has been a month to forget uh, losses to Brighton, Newcastle and now Man City. Um, I'm really not happy about that. Um, we were, yeah, showing there's much work to be done. That's such a disappointing one. Maybe I should have packed the midfield more. Maybe I was just too timid at the start. Um ugh. Questions, questions, questions. Six points off the lead leaders now. But West Ham, uh, European football next year will probably be happy with. Um, so we're going to come back and 
and see where we go from here. We're going to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves down. Coming up, we've got games against. Uh, we've got we've got Spurs rematch against Villa, Cardiff in the cup, Everton, Fulham, and then Man City again. Um, so we'll probably play this straight through and have the rematch at Man City. Um, as the next live game on here, we'll get the transfer window done and dusted and closed. We'll play these games and then we will see you back for another one on here. I hate leaving on the downer, but uh, there we go. Thanks, guys. See you next time.